Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us see how do we convert decimal numbers into percentage. So by now you all know what are decimal numbers, right? So these numbers, they have a fractional part and they also have an integer part and these two parts are separated by the decimal point. So what we do is first of all, we write the decimal numbers in the form of fractions. So let us take an So let us consider 4.5. This is a decimal number, this is the integer part and this is the fractional part. So what we do, we write it in the form of fractions. How do we write? 45 divided by 10. So we have learned all of these in our previous lessons, right? So point after decimal, how many digits you have, that many zeros you will put in the denominator. So here it is just one digit after decimal point, so just one zero. So 45 by 10. So now you have a fraction. So how do you convert a fraction into percentage? You multiply the numerator and the denominator by 100. So consider this entire part together. So what happens? So you obtain a number which is divided by 100. So 4500 by 10 divided by 100. So this divided by 100 can be written as percentage. So this is equal to 450%. So basically here what we are doing is we first convert the decimal number into fraction and then we convert the fraction into percentage the, in a similar way we did earlier. So let us look at another example. Let us say 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 first we write it as fraction so 2 divided by 10. Now here again we multiply the numerator and denominator by 100. So this becomes 2 into 100 divided by 10%. So this 10 into 10 is 100, so this is equal to 20%. Let's look at example 3, it's 0 0.05. So this is equal to 5 divided by, after decimal point you have two digits. So here you will have two zeros in the denominator. So here also you will multiply the numerator and denominator by 100. So you get 5 into 100 divided by 100%. So this 100 and 100 will cancel out. So this is 5%. So you see why am I giving so many examples is the more examples you see the better the understanding is. So for 2.1 this can be written as 21 by 10. So here also numerator and denominator multiplied by 100. So you get 2100 by 10%. So this is equal to 210%. So now here the interesting observation that you find is for decimals which are less than 1, which are the decimals which are less than 1. This is a decimal less than 1, this is a decimal which is less than 1. So for decimals which are less than 1, the percentages are less than 100. You see here 20%, 5%. Whereas for decimals which are greater than 1, the percentages are more than 100%, right? Like 4.5 it is 450%, 2.1 it is 210%. So basically what we conclude is that for decimals less than 1, percentage is less than 100%. For decimals greater than 1, the percentage is greater than 100%. So this is our observation. So now again the vice versa that how do we convert percentage into decimals. So that's going to be pretty simple. So let's take an example. Let's say 12%. So how do you convert it into decimal? 12% so is nothing but 12 out of 100. So you reduce it to the simplest possible uh, fraction that is 3 by 25. So this is in the fractional form. Now you convert this fraction into decimal. So this is how we convert it. Right? So this is 5, so here you have a decimal point, so you put a 0, so 25, 2 is a 50 and therefore 3 by 25 is equal to 0 0.12. So you could convert 12% into a decimal number 0 0.12. Similarly, if 
let's take another example let's say 150 percentage now this is greater than 100 percent that means the decimal number must be greater than 1 so 150 percent is nothing but 150 by 100 so 5 3 is a 15 5 2 is a 10 10 3 is a 30 10 2 is a 20 so 3 by 2 so when you convert it into decimal form this is what you get so 2 5 is a 10 Therefore, 3 by 2 is equal to 1.5. So, you see 1.5 is greater than 1 and that is why the percentage is greater than 100. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple 4-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.